Today I'm going to show you how to make a delicious and nourishing breakfast that will keep you satiated for at least 4 hours without that dreaded post meal crash. This breakfast provides about 40 grams of protein, 20 grams of fiber and at least 10 different plant-based foods, making it easier to reach our goal of eating 30 or more different plant-based foods each week. I have been eating these overnight oats daily for a couple of years now as the first meal of my day and I love how easy it is to make. I have discussed the science-backed health benefits of each one of the ingredients in this video up here, so I will go into details again. Let's have a look at the ingredients we're gonna be using. 2 tablespoons of rolled oats, not the quick type. 1 tablespoon of chia seeds. 1 tablespoon of crushed flax seeds. 1 teaspoon of goji berries, 1 quarter teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice, 1 third of a cup or about 80 milliliters of milk of your choice, 10 grams of unsweetened protein powder, half a cup or around 130 grams of plain unsweetened yogurt. I alternate and mix goat, sheep and cow yogurt, 1 tablespoon of peanut butter or other nut butter, 1 portion of fruit of your choice. Let's now have a look at how to make it. We first start by mixing all the dry ingredients together. To save time, I prepare this mix only once for the entire week and I store it in jars. This way, the soaking part in the morning or at night, it takes me less than one minute. Even if it's called overnight oats, you can prep it a couple of hours before eating it. The important thing is that the oats and the seeds have the time to soak up the liquid to create a creamy substance that's very rich in fiber with all its health benefits. You can use any type of milk you like. My favorite is fresh full-fat milk from a local farm. I just add enough to make all the ingredients swim in the liquid. I cover the bowl and I let it rest in the fridge. Once the soaking is done, I add the protein powder, the yogurt and the peanut butter and the steel well. Now it's time for the fruit. I'm a huge fan of red apples and I love the crunchiness they add to the oats. I like to add berries as well. Sometimes I mix half an apple with a handful of berries. In summer I love adding nectarines, but you can really use any fruit you like. What I love the most about this breakfast is that it's very versatile and it's easy to change its flavor. Plus, the spice, the fruits and the peanut butter add enough sweetness that they don't need to use any sweetener. Sometimes I also add some cacao powder. It's possible to add nuts and more seeds and by just changing the fruits, it makes it a different breakfast every time. One more important ingredient that I add to my breakfast is a hard-boiled egg that they batch cook every six days and then they eat before the oats. It helps me avoid a glucose spike and sets me up for sustained energy levels throughout the day. Avoiding glucose spikes is key to prevent insulin resistance and all its negative consequences that I talk about in this video here. If you're new to my channel and want to make healthy eating easy, make sure you subscribe right here to watch new videos every Sunday. If you are interested in working one-on-one -on -one with me, you can check out the link I left in the description box. Thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you in the next video.